Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shalim's Creativity Room. This is Floss Tube number 25. I am going to show you some whips. I'm going to show you some stitch alarms coming up. Um, Crystal asked me to show how to do something. Oh. <laughs> My internet was out for over an hour. Don't know why. I kept resetting it every 30 minutes and it finally came on. So let's see. We have Deborah. We have Robert. We have Shawana. Hi, Crystal. Danielle. Ureli. And another Crystal. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why the internet went out in Robin's stream, but I did finish Bookworm Girl. Okay, now I've got messages. Hold on. Okay. So, I don't know why my lighting is always so bad. I have this LED ring light, which is supposed to be the best. I have plenty of light in here. Don't understand. Okay, I have nothing in any particular order. We're just going to go ahead, and I'm hoping that you can see. I cannot guarantee that my internet... God, what is it with the light? Holy crap. Am I, like, yellow to you guys? I have been trying everything. I don't know what's up. It's horrible. Okay, so I have, what is this stuck on? Hi, Dawn. No, I know. If my, if my electricity had gone out with the AC, I would have tried to fill my bathtub up as much as I could with cold water, and I would have sat in it because, no, no way. Okay, so I am doing that mermaid stitch on with Danielle, Crystal, Julie, kale and all the cross stitching and the back stitching is done now i need to add the beads hi bianca i need to add the beads to it or french knots or both so there's that hold on Sorry, Scott just got home from, um, Bianca, it's your birthday. How come no one told me this? Um, sorry, he just got back from the doctors. He had his stitches taken out and she told him he can't go back to work for two more weeks till it is fully healed. Okay, so today is. Bianca's birthday. Happy birthday, Bianca. Let me write it down. So because his arm is, is like a burn from his shirt, it needs to completely heal until he can go back to work. So, another two weeks with him. 
<laughs> Please say a prayer for both of us. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a stitch along, so hold on. This is for a stitch along. This is the hade that I am working on. I did finish page two last week or the other day over the weekend. So page two is done. <laughs> right, Crystal? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, page two is done. There's four pages total. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. Um, oh, Animal Crossing. That's how much I have done. This was June's square. It was Flick and CJ. So, yeah, I'm staying caught up to that. I will be working on this next. Right now I'm coloring. And when that page is done, I will be going back to my Halloween gnomes. My Halloween gnomes. Look at them. Aren't they freaking cute? So, the next gnome I will be stitching. Hold on. Will be this witch. I'm going to do her next. I probably should do that because that's like, that looks like that's supposed to be patriotic. But I'm going to do the witch because it's next to this one. So, yeah. I don't know. Is Danielle in here? She knows where all the links are for all of this. Okay, so those are my wicks. Okay, new starts. I have a piece of fabric. It's a it's a grayish blue, and it is for a Halloween stitch along starting July first. It is with Shannon Christine Designs. Let me put it up here. I don't see Danielle. Oh, she's grooming. Sorry, Danielle. What is this? It just popped up. No, I don't want any news. No, I don't want that. Okay, so this is a Halloween stitch along. It starts September or it starts July 1st. And goes through October. So that is for that. And then we have the O oh, Christmas tree. The O oh, Christmas tree that I'm doing as a stitch along. In the description of this live stream is the link to buy this from Fat Quarter Shop. Also, um, the Facebook group I made for this. Only join the Facebook group if you're stitching this. There are three questions that I asked in order to join. So I already have my fabric and my floss. I used the floss that it called for. But I watched, who was it I saw she finished I watched a floss tuber. She finished this. She did it all in the greens it called for. The birds that are in the tree, she did in red. And the stars, she did in a yellow gold color. <laughs> you need some light. 
I know this. I don't understand the lighting in here. I bought one of those nice green lights. It's supposed to be perfect for videos and that. I don't understand. It's bright in here. So yeah, I'm gonna change that up a little bit. Do the um, the birds in red and the star in the yellow gold. So that's for those stitch alongs. Now. I wanted to show you all my Halloween stuff. And if anybody wants to do a buddy stitch with me, let me know. The dog is making noises. So I have the fabric and I, oh, I started this. Okay. These are starts. These are already started, but not much. See? There's that. There's this much on this piece. And there's this much on this piece. And these are Wax and Moon designs. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to do those and I need to finish them. But if anybody else has these and wants to stitch with me, let me know. Let's see if I can get these all back in there. I did not realize I had already started them. Casey Joe stitched on the Christmas tree. Okay, Casey Joe. I knew she was a new YouTuber to me, Floss Tuber to me, and I really liked her. There, I've been watching a ton of Floss Tubers to see who I like. I found a few new ones. Okay, so I have that. Now, I have a lot of issues. Oh, man, I have a couple more starts, and I don't know where they came from. I'm in big trouble. Look it. I have starts, but I don't know. I don't know where they came from. I'm thinking from this. I hope I have them written down in my notebook. I have this purple piece of fabric for which issue? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Okay, so see all this pretty Halloween y fabric. Yeah, all these over-dyed Halloween fabrics. Yeah, I got more and more and more. So, anybody has these, I will stitch with you. I have the Just Cross Stitch Halloween collection. It's thicker. It has um, patterns in it from other issues. Yeah. Oh, man. I have these two patterns and the fabric. These were also in one of the Halloween issues. And I have the fabric for this pattern. This was also, I believe, in a Halloween issue. I have lots of Halloween issues. Um, I just bought the 2020 Halloween issue, and I'm waiting for 2021 to come out, and I will get that one. Um, Danielle, I think, wanted to do a cup. Look at this one. Trick or treat. This one here. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to show the chart. Look at that. Isn't she cute? Yeah, want to do her. Yes. 
I know a lot of people are not into Halloween, but I love my Halloween. I know there was a couple others that Danielle showed me in this issue. Yeah, that one. Where was that one? I will find it. Her. Little Miss Witchy. I will cover up the pattern. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh. Anybody who has this wants to do buddy stitching with me. I am all for it. Bring on the Halloween. Bring on the Halloween. Okay, the other issues that I have. I have 2016. I have 2014. I have 2013. I have 2012. Um... Twenty ten. Two thousand nine. In their premiere, which was two thousand eight. Now, if I'm missing one, oh my gosh, fit back down in there. Okay, so what else? Oh, yeah, I had the 2020 and the Halloween collection. And this one was the 2013, 2011. I don't know. But, yeah, I am all in. You guys can message me or whatever, what ones you want to do. Hi, Rachel Ray. Oh, my gosh. Rachel Ray is in the house. I fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> I am thrilled Rachel Ray is joining us. And she's doing the Christmas stitch along with us. And I've been enjoying Rachel Ray's Floss 2 videos and her vlogs for her Patreons. Yes, go watch her channel. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I bought another magnetic board. I love these for my charts. You know me, I'm old school. I like the paper charts. So I now have two or three of these magnetic boards in this size. This is 12 by 18. And then I have a couple of the smaller ones. So this just came yesterday. It took three months to get it from Amazon. Okay, Crystal wanted to know how I grid my fabric when I grid it for my haids. And what I bought, it's called um, Easy Count Guideline. It's There's 100 yards. It's red. It's like a fishing line. It's very thin and it's red. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's red. Oh, you did get your pattern? Yeah, I can't wait to start it. So that starts September 1st, and it's for six months. So let's get one of my... Let me grab a rug. Let's grab that. I have a lot of needles. I just bought ballpoint needles. They're supposed to go through the holes easier. Look at I diamond paint on here and I already got drills stuck to the fabric. <laughs> okay, so where's my hate and I'll show you. Okay. So this I used regular DMC floss to grid. Do you see the grid? Now, I didn't grid horizontally for page three and page four, just one and two. I will be 
taking out the horizontal lines for one and two and then grid in page um, three and four. But I used floss for that because this was like the first one. So I always start... You're supposed to leave a three inch margin on each side, on each side of your piece for framing. So I would count three inches down and three inches over and start in that spot. That's where I would start my gridding. And I would cut this for as long, um, how many inches page one is. So you can do one page at a time. You'll cut this. And I might need to do this in a zoom for Crystal to make it easier because I don't have the camera down. Maybe I should do that real quick. Let me see if I can put the camera down. Hold on. I will switch cameras. Okay. So this is slippery. It's going to fall in and out of the eye of the needle. It is a pain to work with because it's plastic. It's not floss. Okay. So I put it through the needle. You'll find your three inch... You know, you go in three inches, three inches down. You can use a counting needle or something to put in that spot. What I do is I bring this up. And I go over a square. Hold on to it in the back. Come back up in that same hole. Go down again. This will secure it. And then you just, I skip two spaces. And I just go all the way across. To how many inches page one is. So it's going to look like that. I skip a, I skip a hole. Go over to the next, and I keep doing that all the way across. Now, when it's time to do your vertical, I don't know why I tried to lick it. It's not floss. <laughs> you're going to end it the same way you started it. So you're going to go cover up two spots. I come back up that hole. Go back down. Okay, so you don't need to do much counting with this. You'll cut that. And then you're going to cut another piece that's going to be the vertical length of, of a next page. Yep, like a back stitch. Only you're going to be pickier about this. So you'll go above that mark to secure the, the, the plastic. And you can do this with your DMC floss. I use DMC floss. They now have fabric that's already gridded, so you don't even need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to do that. See, fell out of the eye of the needle. So if you don't want to spend the time to do this, I would look for the gridded fabric. They didn't have gridded fabric when I started doing aids. So I've always done this. Okay, so you're going to secure that. Thread. Just like we did going horizontal. going to be a pain in my butt. This is why I now recommend buying the
the gridded fabric. And I only do this for the Hades or any other company that is um, full coverage. Okay. So you're going to start here and you want to go down 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Going to go down 10. So, and also when you do horizontal across, you're going to go, oh, you're going to go down 10 and go across. So when you do the, your next horizontal, I go all horizontal first or vertical. It doesn't matter. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rose. So you can either do all horizontal, all horizontal, all the way across for the first page. Make sure you count 10 squares every time you do a horizontal line. Or you can do vertical, make sure they're 10 squares, vertical. So you're doing 10 every 10 squares. So you will have a square that's a 10 by 10 when you're all done. Do you understand, Crystal? Karen, I'm showing how I grid my fabric for the Hades. If you don't buy the gridded fabric. So, yeah, you're going to go across and then count 10, go across, count 10, go across. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is a pain. It is time consuming. But that is how I do my full coverages. So, yeah, so it'll look like the pattern on the paper. Well, yeah, you'll have 10 by 10 stuff. You'll have, so there's 100 stitches that fit in this, in this square. So, see, I counted 10 down, went across. 10 down, and then here it's 10 over, 10 over. So that whole one, there's 100 stitches in that square. So it'll look like the pattern. So a pattern has... A 10 by 10. So see these black lines? That is the red line that I made. Yep. And there's so there's a hundred stitches in that little square. Okay. So, I know you're intimidated by the Hades. They do have small ones. This is a small one. It only has four pages. But they have them that are like a um, bookmark. They're called Story Keeps. Yes. So, you can stop miscounting. Also, whenever I do anything, like the tree that I'll be doing... I do a basting stitch on my fabric of everything. So, here is a basting stitch. It's just a running stitch. I find the middle mark of my fabric. I go down with one thread. I go over with another one. This helps me find the center from the fabric, and I can count from the center of the fabric. 
I, I do this in all my patterns, even my small ornaments. It keeps me from making more mistakes. Oh, Karen, it is called Easy Count Guideline. 100 yards of red. It comes in this type of package. And I believe I got it on one, two, three, but I don't remember. Oh, thank you. I get my nails done tomorrow. It's been three weeks. Okay. Okay, that helped, Crystal. Because I don't want to have to count any more than I have to. And yeah, see, I have a ton of needles. Plus, I have a couple of these which have needles in them. This one, yeah, this one, it has one needle in it. But I have a few more that are just wooden. They have needles. These were my favorite, and I don't believe they're in. Um, I keep forgetting that that camera's not on now. So, yeah, this is my little needle holder. And I have a ton of needles. These, I don't think, are being made anymore. They're very tiny, petite needles. And I like the size 28. I have, yes, my tapestry. I have John James Tapestry Petites. They're size 28. These are beaded needles. I do have these. They're size 28. These are Bowens. Oh, here's the other little needle. This one's full. This is a needle holder. So you could like put a number like 28 on this, put all your 28 count needles in here, your 28, your size 28. Um, I have another one. It's not right here. You could put a number 26, put whatever, whatever. Yeah, a 28 would be smaller than a 26. So I have a ton of needles and I do wear them out. Sometimes they break. <laughs> but like I said, this is very time consuming. Okay, where did I put my bag? I must not have brought it in here. So if you don't want to take the time. Okay, bye, Crystal. If you don't want to take the time to grid the fabric... You can now buy fabric that's already gridded. Now, like I said, I have all those Halloween. Anybody that wants to stitch with me, let me know. Send me a message somehow. Facebook Messenger, Instagram. And we can do buddy stitching. So, what was I working on now? My Halloween. Yeah, my Halloween. There is 30 or 35 new DMC colors. And this one happened to call for it. So, I am going to be starting the witch. So, I have to find her. Page one is done. Is that the witch? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I will show you how I set up my cross stitch to stitch. 
say. So what I do is, these two are done. These came in black and white. So this is the Frankenstein. I'm not going to show you all the pattern, but it's black and white. And then they gave you the color for showing where the back stitching goes. So I use this chart first. It's in black and white. And then I pull out the colored part. So I'm confused on something here. Just hold on a second. Page one. Oh, okay. I'm good. So, I will show you. So, I don't want to show you the chart because that's got copyright issues. So, we'll open up my new magnetic board. Because, again, I'm old school and I like my paper patterns. I don't mark my patterns, but I like, they didn't give me very, very many magnets. I'm going to have to make some. So, it comes with the three magnets. I need more than that. Oh, it comes with four. Sorry. It comes with four magnets. And I usually have a roll of magnets around the house that I'll use. And I might even have extras. So I will lay down my pattern and the color chart. And I will lay them side by side on the magnet board. And then I just lay magnets to hold them in place. But I have extra magnets around. Plus, I use a ton of needle minders. So let me find. Needle minders are the same thing as cover minders for diamond painting. So let's see. This one has a ton of extras. Oh, that's the other thing I need. Where did I put that? Hmm. I thought it was right here. I need my Q-snap. I need my Q snap. Okay, so I have this little needle minder is Peter Pan. It's a Peter Pan book. And then I have a frog on a lily pad. Hi, Brian. So I put my my Q snap somewhere is where I wouldn't lose it. I don't know where it is. I don't see it. I had everything right here. I don't know where they put my. My big Q snap. It was hiding. It was hiding. I have it. (laughs) 
Oh, hi, Christy. I'm sorry your allergies are bothering you. So we're just going to chat. I don't usually have the camera done on my cross stitching. This is a Q-snap. It's made out of PVC piping. I love this. So it holds your fabric in place. And I'm going to take the needle, put it there. So what is everybody up to? You put in a dream code. Aren't those fun, Brian? Did you take pictures while on the island? With your with your characters? Do my what? My what wear out? My snaps? These? I have never had to replace one. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Okay, so I made sure it's nice and tight. We're going to be working over here next to this guy. <laughs> so Danielle just put in <laughs> my favorite <laughs> cross stitch chart shop for my Halloween gnomes or any of my gnomes. Um, is there who did this one, Danielle? Is it the same company that did these Halloween gnomes? Because you know, I my last couple of floss two videos, I showed you all the gnomes I've been buying from an Etsy shop. Yeah, love it. Okay, so then I have one of these office easels. It folds down. It's one of these office, it's just, it's an easel. And I put my magnet board on that so when I'm cross stitching it's all right here I can see it really good okay so green because this doesn't say let me mark that down so these Halloween gnomes are by green Terrence let me write that down green Terrence, because it doesn't say on here. Okay, so the skill level on this says experienced. So you're going to have your cross stitching. Am I still yellow? And then you're going to have back stitching and then French knots. Or you can add beads if you don't want to do French knots. So I'm going to start stitching this and we will chat. Okay, there's that spot right there. Okay. And I get quiet when I first start my first, very first stitching. <laughs> You got a new Q snap in the mail. I know. How many hades do you have started now, Karen? Karen messages me almost every day and shares her progress and what ones she's working on. And she has a couple hades started. Oh my gosh, I need to stop yawning too. I almost went and took a nap. 
because the power was out for a little over an hour and I'm like, if it doesn't come back on, I'm taking a nap. I got tired all of a sudden. Thankfully, it wasn't the power that went out because if I, the power went out and the way that this heat and humidity is, oh my gosh, I would have been a mess. Okay, the next thing I need well, I was prepared to do this. I need my scissors. I need my scissors. Okay, so you have three started plus other cross-stitch projects. Okay. Let's see. I always wind all my floss on bobbins. And I unwrap it 10 times to get the length I want. I take one strand and pull it out. And then I do the loop method. So I take one end to one end. Put it in the needle. Because when I come up through, when I go back down, I catch the needle through the loop because I, you don't put a knot in, and then it secures the thread onto your project. So I have done a tutorial. That's why I'm not doing that now. But I do have a tutorial on my channel. So my these floss tubes are just a whip and chat. We're going to chat whatever you want to. Oh, thank you. Yep, it's my new chair. It's a gaming chair. Scott just bought it for me last week. So I sit in here. It's got a foot rest. I can lean back and I play Animal Crossing. So what is everybody else doing? What are you all working on? Yeah, see, I need more magnets. I need more magnets because I don't have a little one. Okay. Okay. I need to go up and count. <laughs> So while I'm counting, oh, Robin's just about to take a nap. Hi, Linda. Um, you guys, to tell, it's food o'clock. Food o'clock, for those of you that are new, is just tell me what you're having for dinner or if you already ate, what did you have? Because we want to know what sounds good. So while you're doing that, I'm going to start counting to start this. Was it 32 or 42? Oh man, see, I already screwed up. 
<laughs> I need a scrap piece of paper. Let's see. Forty-two, not thirty-two, and then I lost my where I was. Okay, 42 up. Thirty-three over. Thirty-three. There we go. My first stitch. <laughs> Can you do your fireman gnome for the Halloween along? What Halloween along? Each time when you sit so still, then I'm just like, did the stream, oh, freeze? No, you're not, I'm not frozen. I am counting. <laughs> and I didn't want to talk while I put in my first stitch. <laughs> now I can talk. <laughs> yeah, heavy concentration with the first stitch. Oh, the Halloween buddy stitch? Is that what you mean, Crystal? Uh, but I don't have the fireman gnome. And the Halloween stitch along is um, with Shannon Christine, and she has the patterns a subscription now if you just want to do a gnome lawn with me um that's what i'm doing with this then yes pull out your um pull out your fireman gnome and work on it when i'm working on this because I, this is for the gnome lawn this isn't a halloween Alon, this one's for the gnome alon that Lisa Bradley's doing. So all my gnomes that I am doing is for the gnome alon. And her Facebook group is Lisa's, is it Crafty Cove? A secret stitch alon? Who's, 
No, I just had a thing go across my screen that one of the actors that used to play on General Hospital passed away. Sorry, I'm a big fan of General Hospital and I watched him then. I can't believe it said he was 84. <clears throat> It just went across my screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys too. A secret stitch along. Do you know about that one, Danielle? Um, he was Stuart Damon. He played Alan Quartermain. Damon Stewart, Stuart Damon. I always get that mixed up. Stuart Damon. He was 84. Okay, Danielle wants the info for that stitch lawn. I am trying not to sign up for any more because I'm doing the Halloween one that starts July 1st with Shannon Christine and then doing the Oh Christmas Tree Stitch Along. Plus I'm doing all these gnomes for the gnome along. <laughs> I am doing the Flamingo Along with an autistic perspective. And in July, my diamond painting that I will be doing is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith because there is a JBG along and emerald fairy lights and I forgot who the other person is they're doing a collab for the um, JBG along so that's the diamond painting I will be working on in July and then gnomes and I have a ton of gnomes but no, I don't plan on doing the fireman one, but um, okay. So Heidi is going to send Danielle the Facebook link for that. And then there's one starting January 1st for one year. Um, yeah. That is the one for, um, is that the one you're talking about with Crafting Journey? She's doing a landscape one for the whole year. Is that the one you're talking about, Crystal? It's hard for me to keep up with them all. Oh, my gosh. And if you want to know what most of the stitch alongs are, go to um, the, the website is stitchingthenightaway.com. And they have a huge list of all the cross stitch alongs in 2021. Nope. Nope. What, Crystal? That's, we are doing a stash be gone. Who is doing a stash be gone? Ouch. I got a pain in my stomach. Stash be gone. What is that? Is that a diamond painting? Is it all crafts? Are you hosting that? I forgot about the stash be gone. 
Is it to finish whips? Nick and Tina is? What do you mean we are? We all are? I am doing that too. Did did I did I know about this? <laughs> and I forgot. Did I forget about this? So it's crystal. Nick and Tina. And I knew about this and forgot. Oh my gosh, my memory. Nick and Tina will explain. Oh, it happened while I was lost my internet and you guys all voted me in. <laughs> okay. Is is there one person hosting this or what? I need I need this information. <laughs> I didn't leave the live. The internet kicked me out. It wasn't my choice to leave. I thought that something happened on Robin's end, and I kept watching everything with the um, the hamster wheel. So I went to my email, and it said, no internet. I'm like, crap. Okay, someone needs to let me know exactly who's hosting this. Co-hosting... I just need to know, I guess, me. I'm making a list. <laughs> oh, I get voted in. I'm not even there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use the stash that I have for the tree. I bought new. Yes. Um, they did tell me that Amanda is starting. Let me write that down. Amanda is starting a channel January 1st. So they did let me know when I came back online. Okay, Crystal's going to tell me all about it later. I got voted in. I know nothing. <laughs> what do you mean at least you asked me? <laughs> Christy says you did you got voted in okay well you guys know I have enough stash to keep me going see and I just showed you all those Halloween fabrics yeah guess I'll be busy I will be busy I have all those hades does that mean I'm on a no buy for the whole year are you guys saying that there's a no buy for the whole year? I just have to work, work from my stash? Oh, my husband would love you guys then. I might have to buy like floss or something to finish things, but that means no buying new patterns, new fabric. <laughs> yeah, Danielle. <laughs> I have a feeling you guys will need to fill me in on all this stuff in tonight's Zoom or tomorrow in mine. And then I'm going to have to put it in my planner. Well, this didn't call for much of this color. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, Danielle is the one that wanted me to do the oh Christmas tree because she doesn't have a channel. See what she does? See, Danielle won't start a channel, but she will encourage all of us that we need to do these. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's laughing at me. Oh, Rose says um, I could do an enablers lawn where we buy new things when we watch your show. Oh, wait, you already do that. 
What? <laughs> See, I get picked on all the time. What are you doing, Daenerys? You keep tapping on the dresser. Okay, this is a symbol of an anchor. So now, oh, there's the anchor. How far up is it from this? No buy is up to you. All crafts and collab must be on your in your stash by 1230. Oh, so anything that I buy through December 31st of this year is what we're crafting. So if I buy something new next year, I can't count that in. I have to use whatever I already have. <laughs> okay. I can do that. I can do that. I will make a list. And I'm I'm assuming, oh man, why am I always missing colors? That's in the other floss box. Where'd I find that one? I'm surrounded. We better buy a, I see to me having to buy floss. Um I'm not gonna count that for no buy because we need floss. We need the floss to work on our projects. I can't do that. I can do a no buy with charts and fabric. <laughs> oh, Rose. If we are stranded on a deserted island with Shalene and her crafts and supplies, we would be busy for years. <laughs> yeah. So is that color? The color I need is in here. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to count the floss because I do use what floss I have. But I do run out. So, and if we're going to keep working on what we have already, I'm going to run out of DMC floss. We just can't buy fabric. Oh, crap. That means no buying fabric. So, if I want to do any of those gnomes, I'm going to have to buy fabric now. Okay. All those gnomes I want to do, I need to buy the fabric this year. I'm not going to worry about the floss. Okay, so floss, glue, etc. doesn't count. Yeah, and our, our Walmart doesn't even have um, all, the, all the floss. I have to buy it at Michael's and Joann's. So I'm not going to count the floss. Well, Danielle says, I don't like y'all game. What? What do you mean? So you need to pull, up, pull out all your charts that you want to work on next year. Buy the fabric now. <laughs> so Danielle doesn't like this game. Cool, Nick and Tina, you'll be able to join us. Just to make sure you watch a ton of YouTube videos on what to do, make a list of 25 things. See, Karen's going to start up her channel again. She's going to join in on this stash. She's going to do a floss tube video once a week, right, Karen? Or monthly. Karen's going to start. Don't start your whining. <laughs> what? What do you mean you won't play the game? Fabric shouldn't count. 
well then i don't understand if we're if we're working from our stash and we can buy fabric and floss to, what then that's not working from our stash i mean you do have to buy floss because you do run out that i have to admit but fabric That's why you buy your fabric this year. Make a list. Make a list of all the patterns that you want to work with. Go through your fabric. See what you already have. See, I, yeah, I'm set. I'm good. <laughs> my my whole year would be probably all uh, Hades and... and um gnomes i could cross stitch halloween and gnomes all year next year and i have most all the fabric and so another question is can we work with what we've already started or do they have to be all new starts because that's another good question is, do you know how many things I have started? This means coloring. Do you mean I can't buy a coloring book next year? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. Nope, nope. I can't do that because if Johanna Basford comes out with a new coloring book next year, I have to have it. And Kirby Rosanna's comes out with a new coloring book next year, I have to have it. Clara Markova, okay, all you peepers out there. If they tell me I can't buy any coloring books next year, you guys better be supplying this channel. <laughs> I, I need uh, I need people to uh, buy for me because <laughs> Danielle said, "See, you don't like the game either." No, no, no. I can. I'm fine without buying cross stitch charts. Okay. The, but don't touch my coloring because no, no, <laughs> no, I can't do that with the coloring books. I, I can buy less coloring books, but no, I need, I need the new ones. <laughs> Dawn, Shalene needs gifts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, I was fine until I thought of my coloring books. Then, then you guys lost me. I only have a handful of my favorite. Oh, I do not need needle minders. No, 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 no. I don't need needle minders. I probably have over a hundred of them things. Nope. I don't I don't need needle minders. I don't need project bags. Um maybe new needles if my if my needles are burning from all the cross stitching next year, I may need new needles. So are those allowed to be bought? Don't don't tell me I can't buy my coloring books. I, I can't do that. <laughs> I, and I can go without buying colored pencils unless I need to replace one when it dies, when I use it up. But not to color in books. I can't do that. You guys are hurting me there. I would color more out of my coloring books, but when I when I have like seven favorite artists and their new books come out, I have to have the new books. <laughs> Danielle, I know, is sitting there laughing her butt off. Right, Danielle? Are you going to give me a hard time about my coloring books? 
Diamond paintings, I will have a hard time with, but I can do it. Oh, does that mean we can't buy new stuff for planners next year? I can't do that either because I'm already in a subscription plan. I don't want to cancel it. I'm okay with the planner stuff otherwise because I buy my planners for next year in September when the new ones come out. Okay, so technically it's working from my stash, Karen, because... I color with my colored pencils, and they need the coloring books. Like, my cross-stitch needs the DMC. My colored pencils need those coloring books. <laughs> right? See, I can come up with a reasoning for all of this. <laughs> Coloring books don't count. Okay. I can do okay with the planner stuff because I buy one or two planners. I'll be good. And I'll keep my subscription to Coco Daisy because I already have that subscription. And I use them. I just can't buy sticker books. But I have like 50 diamond paintings. And I have, what, six pre-ordered from Craftably on their way. And I've just ordered two from DMC. Robin is in too. But I don't need a needle minder, Karen. I have tons of needle minders. I don't need needle minders. I don't need scissors or project bags. I'm all good with my cross stitching. I just might need to buy floss. But I guess I'm going to have to go through all of my gnomes and see what fabric I need and hurry up and stock up on fabric, right? <laughs> Wolfpack is in on this too. Oh my gosh. We have like a. Are we going to have a uh, face, Facebook group for this? Oh, I I need to I need to clarify on the coloring books. Yeah, that that one I can't do not unless people gift them to me <laughs> because no nope. that one's too hard. I don't need anything in cross stitching, Karen. I'm all good. Just I might need some fabric. I have fabric here. So I'll have to go through my fabric stash. A what? A Facebook group, Crystal, for, for de-stashing. Working from our stash. Do we? Are we going to do a Facebook group for that? Or just a Facebook group chat? Yeah, I'm I'm nosy now. Now I'm like, okay, I can do this until I thought of my coloring books. Nope. No. I can I can stop buying patterns. I didn't buy patterns for years until this year, and that was Danielle's fault, who has not a channel. <laughs> <laughs> Karen says she'll buy me new needles. Those I may need. I do have a lot of needles, but I may need more of those. It all came up when you left us. So that will say not to buy anything next year or... Okay, so the only thing I would buy next year are my coloring books. And those are only my favorite artists that come out next year. I can't buy new artists. That is my goal. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Danielle, but I love you all so much. <laughs> See, to me, needles and floss are things we are allowed to buy. <laughs> Heidi says, oh, I would not be able to do that at all. See, I haven't bought cross-stitch charts in a few years. I didn't start buying them again until this year because of Danielle. <laughs> so the only thing that I would have to say is when the new... I, I can make a list of probably six artists that I always have to buy their new coloring book. <laughs> if we all buy Shelly needles, she will never need any more. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then if she gets a job, I'm going to be babysitting, but... Um, So I'm up earlier when I babysit. So it's going to depend on her hours. I don't really take crafts with me. I might in the summer. But like when school's in session, my job is to get them up, get them dressed, breakfast, and get them on the bus. And then I'm done for the day. Unless I have to get them back off the bus. But, um, yeah. I still will have time. Oh, I can see. I am a list maker. Guess I'm going to be busy going through my charts. And making a list of my favorite coloring books. Oh, I got whips. Uh, yeah, I got whips. I got whips of coloring. I can finish those. Okay, I can do this except for the coloring books. <laughs> oh, Karen says just buy me a gift card. See, I can accept those too, right? Because I'm technically not buying it. You guys are. <laughs> Working from your stash. Yeah. And I just showed you all the Halloween stuff I have. So if I do any diamond painting collabs next year, it has to be with something I already have, which I can do. I have a list of my color and whips that will give me a reason to finish them. And the color and books that I have not even colored in yet, right? That'll count. I have a lot of those. I have a lot of cross stitch whips slash UFOs. <laughs> I didn't say I'm buying them. I didn't say I'm buying the gift cards. They're buying them for me. <laughs> you can't buy yourself gift cards. What if every whip we finish, we could buy something new? Oh, is that it? it do we need to do an incentive? An incentive. Well, a cross-stitch whip may be by a new cross-stitch chart because they take longer. 
a color in whip no because i could i can do a page in a day So I could, yeah, we, we really need to talk about this. <laughs> Since I got put into this without even, I got voted in, I didn't get to vote in on this. Why would you buy yourself a gift card? <laughs> oh, and I got new needles coming Friday to try out. <laughs> okay, Nick. What do you record your floss tube on? Oh, I'm using my um my laptop. <clears throat> I use my laptop. And I use OBS. For my live streams, I use StreamYard. For recording my videos, like my morning videos and floss tube videos and that, I use my um, laptop. And I'm using my laptop now. And I use OBS program to record. Um, there's a Zoom tonight for Animal Crossing. We all play Animal Crossing together and we visit each other's islands. But my Zoom is tomorrow afternoon and I need to send out the email for that. Well, you guys got me excited for next year until I thought about my coloring books. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I can go without buying colored pencils unless one breaks or you know i use one up and then i can replace that one the same with the floss you know when you run out of a color you do need to replace that so that kind of stuff i'm fine with <laughs> what do you mean you didn't interrupt what are you talking of oh on my phone <laughs> yeah Karen always messages me when I start my uh, my live stream. She's like, what are you doing? Like doing my live stream? Lisa does that to me too. My friend Lisa, she'll do that to me. Right as I'm getting ready to start going in a live or doing my live, and she'll go, can you talk? Um, no. I can't right now. <laughs> I don't think any of these companies are going to be very proud of us not buying stash next year. They're going to be like, what? I will bankrupt some of them. <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass. Actually, it's probably true because if I can't buy new, then I can't show new. And no, not you, Lisa. It's my Lisa Gadbury. 
So if I don't show any new stash, then I can't enable any of you. So they, they're, they're going to go out of business. Hi, Kim. And then I can't have any more enablers meetings that Amanda, um, she has said that we have behind her back. Yep, Karen got voted in on starting her floss tube channel. We'll get Danielle started too. We'll get her. If she doesn't start a channel, we're going to get her in one of ours. <laughs> yeah, I have two packs of needles coming. But you play with them. I'm not, so I'll still enable. What? You're not going to play with us? You're not going to work from your stash next year, Danielle? What? No, we cannot buy all we want. Oh, so if I buy the new coloring books next year, then I can't count them towards the collab next year. I see. Well, I figured Amanda was in too. Danielle says she's not in, so she's going to enable. Well, I know you said she was starting her channel, so that's why she is starting it, is to do this. Okay, I get it now. I guess that we will have more information tonight and tomorrow, and then we will let everybody know. So, Karen, if you want in on this, let us know, and you can start your channel January 1st. No, I I use my laptop um, for all recording. The camera I'm using, like right now, you can see me, is using the camera on the laptop. And then I have a webcam. It's a Logitech lap um webcam and that's what i use when you see you know what i'm doing on the table oh danielle is in she just doesn't know it that's right if you guys can all vote me in i'm voting danielle in and she doesn't have a choice yep i got voted in while my internet went out i'm saying danielle is in i vote her in Oh, Kim, it's working from your stash next year. If you buy anything next year, you cannot count it towards the collab. It's all crafts. Okay, Karen. <laughs> Crystal says it's the fastest she's ever gotten out of Walmart. <laughs> no, I'm not coloring tonight. Um, I've been mentioning, I mentioned last week too that I was doing floss tube tonight. The last week of every month, I do floss tube. But I probably won't in July because... I don't plan on doing live streams or Zooms um, during the Olympics because I am a big fan of the Olympics. 
Oh, yes. Coloring also is from your stash. Yep. Okay, then I need help. I need one piece of 14 count picture this plus color Mesa. Okay, we'll see. You can order that now. And the Nomalon is till when? I have it. I have it down somewhere. So I need fabric for the gnomes. Kim says she's in. Danielle, oh, you can't find it? Huh. Did you get a hold of Picture This Plus and ask them? Are they still in business? I haven't bought from them in a long, long time. I don't sew. This isn't sewing, Kim. This is cross-stitching. It's two totally different things. Okay, so the gnome alone is until May 1st. So um, all those gnomes that I bought... I just need to get some fabric. I have fabric in this house. I need to see if I have enough of it. Oh, I just found some more of that first color I used. Your room is done, Kim. Are you going to share pictures on Instagram? I'm not showing pictures right now because I'm counting and, yeah, I'm not doing that tonight. <laughs> Danielle, I understood only retail. Oh, so you can't buy directly from them. Okay, so any craft... Puzzles, painting, coloring, cross-stitching, etc. So, Kim, yes, your coloring counts. Kim might do a live. Ooh, there you go. And show. Oh, for your, your room, your craft room? Oh, that would be cool. I need that green again. So I need like a sugar daddy to like buy me gifts because I can't buy for myself. Yeah, you, you guys all had me at, okay, I can go without buying cross-stitch patterns. I can go without buying diamond paintings. No, I cannot go without some of my coloring books. Today happening. Oh, and that means that Miss Robin can't buy any puzzles. <gasps> yeah, he doesn't. He, he's not rich, though, Rose. <laughs> he's not rich. He spoils me. Um, if you buy next year, you can't count it towards the collab, they said. I'm finding out more information, Kim, because I got voted in and didn't know anything about it. Because my, when I was in Robin's stream, my internet went out when they all discussed this behind my back. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just finding out about this. 
because I got booted out of Robin's live stream. So they voted me in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Robin's in on this too, which means she can't buy any puzzles. <laughs> oh, he would tell you that that would be the case. I'm sure I will find out more information on um, tonight and tomorrow, and then I can tell you all the rules on my Thursday live stream. If I do a Thursday live stream, I'm hoping to. We were invited to go out for chicken wings. Why am I having such a hard time with this? does not want to go in the eye of the needle. Come on. I give up. His best friend um, lives by Scott's sister, and they go out every Thursday for chicken wings and so they invited us and I told him it depends on how I'm feeling and it depends on the heat because if it's still hot like this it, uh -uh. okay Okay, so Danielle got really quiet. <laughs> Did you guys discuss food o'clock? Because I was counting. I don't know what I'm having. I know Scott bought some frozen dinners to stick into the microwave because it is way too hot to cook. I think that he got lasagna. Wait till I tell him about this work from your stash. Oh, I am such a list maker. I can just see me making up a list of all this stuff that I want to do next year. And then seeing what I need to buy. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaning after the animals. Crystal's laughing at me still. I'm sure Artie will like you doing this too, Crystal, huh? Chicken Alfredo and salad, and you had breakfast for dinner. I need water. So we cannot join in any stitch alongs next year. Okay, I have to, I, I have another question. Do free charts count? <laughs> oh, oh, Kim says I she has a new coloring toy that I need. Okay, spill it. Michelle, I would call them and tell them that they either better discount your food or it's free.
Okay, Kim's going to be enabling. Here we go. Okay, Crystal. It's gel sticks. King art gel sticks. So how do you use them? I get an earache. It's from this stupid weather. We have uh, storms. We have storm mornings through tomorrow morning. So I have a feeling maybe because my ear is now starting to hurt. gel sticks. Kim, can you put the link in the description? Michelle says it's thunder and lightning there. And how do you use them? So are they kind of like um, Neo 2s? Um, what's the other thing I'm thinking of? Um, gelatos. They like gelatos. Well, I'm glad you had fun, Karen. We always have a good laugh, sometimes at my expense. My gosh, I know this is this weather's just been doing me in so. I just noticed that StreamYard didn't have my floss tube picture up. Peanut gel stick crayons. Ouch. Okay. I added it to my wish list. I added it to my wish list. I don't know if I'll buy them, but I will check them out. Where am I? They're very creamy. So they're like a gelato. Have you used gelatos? Okay, yep. Kind of like gelatos. Okay. I have a few of those. See, that's another good thing about for working from our stash because 
I have the gelatos, I have the Neo 2s, and I don't use them in nothing. It'll give me a reason to. I have enough colored pencil sets. Yeah, I can see my my future for a week is lists for next year. <laughs> you add them to your picture with a makeup brush. Really? But I have paint brushes. They dry and you don't need a fixative. Cool. That sounds like fun. You don't use water with yours? Okay. Like the gelatos. I know you can put them down on paper without water, but I don't know if you do have to activate them with water. I just have all these ideas in my head what I'm going to do for next year and it's only Jul it's starting in July. I have 6 more months. So I start making a list now and then I can keep tweaking it, right? Oh, Scott would have a heart attack if the UPS guy and the Amazon people stopped coming. He would think there was something wrong with me, and he might have me committed. <laughs> I can see it now. There's something wrong with her. She hasn't ordered anything online. We need to have her committed. There's something really wrong with her. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye, Karen. Six months to buy. Yep. Free charts don't count. <laughs> I'm trying to think of things that I might need to stock up on. Probably nothing. I have my Q snaps. I would like a couple grind guards. I need a couple different sizes though. Because I use this one a lot. And then I have the smaller ones. What else would I need? Because I don't count floss or needles because you do need those. If you run out. <laughs> your UPS man calls you by your name. I don't know if mine has ever called me by my name. I don't think so. That's funny. There was a small mix-up with the person who answered, put it down for pickup when it was, when I could be said for delivery, and the owner is sending it over right away. Oh, okay. These Q-snaps here, where's my... These ones are 11 by 11. 
And then I have the smaller ones, which I think are eight by eight. And oh my gosh, I probably have about seven of these. And then I have one that's um, tall, like that. Um, this one, yeah, this one's eight by eight. So I probably have like six of these. And then this is the 11 by 11. And I really, really like this. But I use both side, both sizes a lot. Okay. I think so, Heidi, unless, um, I think what they're saying is we can buy next year, but we can't use what we bought next year. I think that's what they're saying, is that you have to use what's in your stash by the end of this year. So whatever you get next year doesn't count towards it. So where is this? Did I mess up? Uh-huh, I did. Because that should be way over here. Oh, jeepers, creepers. I already got a frog. I've got to frog. Okay, there goes that. Daenerys, stop. Okay, that little section there got to redo. The stand and frames. See, I don't think that counts. I don't think like buying the stand and your frames, those aren't going to count. <laughs> Wally was watching me, Crystal. See, he knows. I'll enable him. I should have told Wally about all the neat dog beds and stuff that are out there. Poor Wally. See, I didn't know he was watching me. I couldn't enable him. He could have been on that computer going to Petco. Yeah, what's the other one? What's the other one I buy from? Chewy. Chewy. I could have sent him to Chewy. Yeah. 
Yep. Enable. We enable him to go on that computer. The cat could help him. The cat and the dog could go on Chewy and order treats. A cat tree, a dog bed. Oh, man, I wish I had known that. <laughs> Nine ten. Only one eleven by eleven Q snap. That's what you have. See, I just take the projects off and use them, so it's not a big deal. I only have one. I don't know how I ended up with so many eight by eights. I think that um, like every year when I went to the cross stitch retreat, we always did a grab bag. And I think there was always one in every year's grab bag. So I think that's how I ended up with so many eight by eight Q snaps. Oh, yes, this one here is an 11 by 11. This is my 11 by 11. And then I have like six of these 8 by 8s. But I don't have any grind guards. So I guess I would have to order them by the end of this year, too. I always just hold them in hand, and I only touch, like, here. And I wash my hands constantly. What? What do you mean I have some coming? What did you do? What'd you do? Did you make some? What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's after seven. I need to say goodbye. I've been on for two hours. How did it become after 7 already? The last time I looked, it was 6.30. Okay, everybody. I will show you what I've done so far. I got this little bit done. This is the part I just had to rip out because I, I counted from this spot instead of this spot. So I did get a little bit done. And we had fun and some laughs and some scary moments thinking about I can't buy my coloring books. Oh, no, Rose. Her son's liver function is worse. They have to go back on Friday. Everybody keep Rose. Her real name is Lisa. Keep her and her son in your prayers, please. He's been very sick. He's only 16. I need to go eat dinner. Um, I will see everybody in Animal Crossing Zoom at 8 o'clock, which is in an hour. And um, Lisa slash Rose, if you need to talk, please reach out. Um, if you want to come into Animal Crossing Zoom just to get away from it all, and you play Animal Crossing anyways. Come on in. And I will see you all again in about an hour in Zoom. <laughs> I love you guys. You all have a great night.
talk to y'all later. Bye.